Popping up, throw up the sex in the uh -huh. And I can put you in I can put you in Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tola and I am a content creator based here in Vancouver, Canada. I said based here, see we people know. I'm going out in like, well, I'm supposed to leave my house in like 30, 40 minutes, but let's just say like in an hour. <laughs> and yeah, I just start to film, to record, because I'm also going to be taking you guys out with me. So, so I'm going to be doing like very, very light makeup because I, as you guys can tell, I even look very, very tired. I am very tired. I got back from work not too long ago, took a mini nap, and I'm about to go out. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. But then I also want to go out because I really never do anything except go to work and come back. So I'm trying to ginger myself, which is why I want to do a little bit of makeup. And I won't be wearing a wig, so I want to look cute. But let's get into it. I'm finally going to Richmond Night Market today. Like, I've been meaning to go since april or may when um the night market opened so if you don't know richmond night market is like a apparently it's one of the biggest in north america because they're like thousands or hundreds of like different stores so i feel like looking at pictures because i haven't been today's today is going to be my first time it gives me like this carnival festival vibe where like there are rides yes and then they are like different food stalls so you get to actually try like a, a variety of international food i'm hoping i'm even sure that there'll probably be like a nigerian store there who knows but mm, let's see sure and yeah like i've just seen pictures and it just seems fun i guess you guys i feel like if i talk and do my makeup i might spend a longer time i actually don't know how people do this talk and like film because i just feel like I'm, i'll just be I'll just get there late. The market opens at 7, 7 p.m. So it only opens weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think for like, on, like two out of those three days, it opens by 7 and then ends 12. I feel like I'm going to talk to you guys when I'm done with my makeup. And honestly, you guys, I'm about to put you on this lip combo that I do. So like take any brown, use any brown lip liner. And then I use... LA Girl lip gloss in Wink and then this Glostopia lip gloss in Opal Tees. Honestly, this combo together with brown lip liner. until I get where I want like like I just know I just want like a nude lip but with like a hint of like pink in the middle I don't know how to explain it it's not even pink it's like pinkish nude so now with my hair hmm you people don't scream <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to embrace my natural hair. I love my natural hair, so I'm going out like this. So you guys, this is what I'm wearing. The black top and the pants are from Shein. The bag, birthday present from my friends. Honestly, love the top. Back class. It's given. Okay, let's go. <laughs> When I found you on the ground, you were jogging. Now you come into my yard uninvited. Can you see me on the edge? I'm in love. If the world was dead, would you find or would you try to get me? Tell me now about what you should be playing. Yeah. Tell me now, I need you to be playing. Yeah. I'm waiting for you, for you. Why you made a war that was fine? 
To join the queue, you guys, like, look at the queue. Keeps going.
if you guys can hear any noise in the background please just disregard it just ignore it this is me like coming to do like an outro for this video several several weeks later like you guys can even tell like my twists are out this is like future taller talking right now <laughs> and yeah i don't know why i kept procrastinating the outro i, I guess it was because i wasn't too sure as to whether i would edit my footage because i just felt like i didn't like show enough stuff and then it started getting dark so i don't even know how like i don't even know if i really like the content i have right now i think that was my um my problem but i guess i'm just going to still put it out there because content can always to be honest as you guys can already tell from the video i went to richmond night market and it typically opens only on the weekend so friday saturday sunday and basically from the title from the name richmond night market it only opens at night from 6 30 p.m to i believe 11 p.m or 11 30 p.m depending on the day so i think friday and saturday is still 11 30 and then sunday is still 11 something like that i'll be i'll put the right details on the screen and yeah admission is eight dollars so for each person is eight dollars but if you're if you have kids under the age of seven i believe or if you are above the age of 60 it's free but everyone else you have to pay like a minimum of eight dollars it's definitely less than ten dollars and it's not like food or drinks inclusive so that's just for you to enter the night market so basically from the moment my friend and i entered the night market you just see like different stalls of like people selling different um products we saw um, people selling jewelry or like hoodies or like customized stuff or like pocket hats or just cute random stuff different stores with like different um culture different food cultures like there's the asian indian different types of food basically i feel like this richmond night market is actually for is a place for foodies like for people that are very adventurous with food that are very oh i want to try this new thing i want to, and i'm not even adventurous with food but i think i just wanted to go there because someone actually told me to go there that is fun and i actually had fun with my friends it was actually really nice and the weather was pretty nice as well so yeah we tried different meals as you guys already saw it from the video and i would say in general that the meals the prices range from like 10 to 20 dollars they are like reasonably it's it's reasonable the prices are actually reasonable and then i'm trying to think again because it's been like several weeks make sure you go with cash as well because i know that like my friend already warned me about that before going that just make sure you take enough money and i was already thinking that oh me that i'm very picky with food i'm not experimental let me just go with like i think i remember like 20 or 30 dollars i ended up going to queue at the atm and they charge you at the atm at the night market so i ended up queuing to get more money because then I, by the time my friend and i tried like the first two things and it was great so we're like ah maybe we should buy more things so i would say maybe you go with more than you even think you would spend and yeah just in case because at the atm they charge and if you just go to a regular bank before going to the night market you can literally just take money from the bank for free so yeah everything is like cash and it makes things faster as well so i guess that makes sense but i would say like if you're new to vancouver you're looking for a place to go to it's family friendly as well there was like music entertainment there was a section for kids that had like cute rides a place to take pictures and food you can walk around it's actually like a family i would recommend this kind of place for a family a place you can hang out with your friends your girlfriends or like your guy friends yeah i actually really enjoyed myself so yeah that was what i was just going to say in the outro if you're coming to vancouver this fall i'm pretty sure it will still be open because it's still here till october night if you want to experience the richmond night market i would definitely recommend and i'll give you a 3.5 over 5 in my books because the food was great everything was good the only thing i kept seeing online was oh make sure you go early because there's always a long queue but my friend and i went around 7 15 7 30 and the queue was actually pretty fast i think we're literally on the queue for like five to seven minutes and we're able to get in and from there we started getting food the service was good like everything about it, i actually really enjoyed myself yeah i would only say maybe because it was outdoor the more the later it got the it was just a bit chilly 
but it was still fine like the events yeah everything was okay the food was great the ambience was nice yeah that's all i have to say about the richmond night market and i hope you guys actually enjoyed this series because i think i have like two or three more episodes before fall starts and i'll start to give you guys back to school <laughs> and i'll start to give you guys back to school content so yeah so please like comment share subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys